I would say was not, you know, in, in from a ranking standpoint, a blue chip recruit. But who he was at the center, his core, everything about him was blue chip. Colin wrestled in the youth program that I grew up in as well. Colin's dad, John Moore, was one of the youth coaches. Since I've been on the staff, I'd be going to the high school state tournament. I'd always be like, oh, let's watch, let's watch John. Those are John's kids, right? Little did I know Colin was going to come here and be, you know, one of the best Buckeyes ever. I'd taken second, I think, once in sixth grade, once in eighth grade, and then twice in high school. That senior year, I was just so ready to win. I just remember huge weight <laughs> you know, being off my shoulders. I think I took a risk on you know, myself. Um, I took a bet on myself to see what I could do here. I didn't know if I was going to hold up or not. He's got two. Yeah, he's got that opportunity. He's got at least two counts. He's got he's a pick for a pick. I definitely exceeded my expectations my redshirt freshman year. It was pretty cool to see people noticing me and stuff. I knew there was a lot of expectations out there just from you know, people around me, the fans, everyone. And it was a lot, it was a lot of pressure. And that's all I thought about all year was just, man, I have to win. I can't, well, I can't lose this match. I let outside factors really just crawl into my life and, you know, weigh me down. A number one ranked undefeated Ohio State Buckeye at 197. 2018 in Rec Hall, they threw out um, Kassar against me in the Penn State dual meet. Reared. That's one of the few times you're going to see Colin wow. Moore get taken down. Wow. We had these great seniors that have done so much for me, Kyle, Nate, and Bo. And uh, I feel like I was the one who took that opportunity to beat Penn State away from those guys. I, I had a hard time looking those guys, you know, in the eye. Having the success early. You know, sometimes maybe you think, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna win next year. But it's wrestling is a tough sport. His sophomore year was heartbreaking, right? The, he was, he was the best guy in the weight, and and he just wasn't as prepared as we would have wanted him to be. The two losses at uh, the nationals my sophomore year was probably, you know, the breaking point, um, just on my my whole mental state. Most things are, are easy to speak of and, un, until they have to be applied, right? The application is painful. And listen, sometimes, hey, the best thing is absorb the pain. It's good for you. Probably for about a week or two, I was just, you know, pretty out of it, just you know, down on myself. But uh, after that, I was like, there's no time for this. You know, it's, it has to start now. I have to start making changes now. I really, had my identity in wrestling for a long time. Getting deeper into my faith just really helped me let go of a lot of other people's expectations. We try to be stress reducers. You know, at any time, hey, Colin, let's see what you can do. More than you're gonna do this, it's your right, you've earned it, you've this, you know, let's see what you can do this year. As much as you wanna respect the task at hand, when in the nationals, don't put it on a pedestal so much. Somebody's got to do it. Why doesn't it deserve to be you? I feel like it's my time. Uh, I'm trying to just, you know, treat it as any other season, but I'm also trying not to let these, you know, last senior year moments kind of slip away. I want to take them all in and enjoy them. Um, but I don't want to get caught up in that, the same things I did my sophomore year. In high school, same thing. I was I was right on the edge of you know winning it. The same things have happened in college, right? I've I've been there, lost, learned from it, and I think I'm taking all this knowledge. I'm finally putting it together, and it's my last try.